Hey, how's it going over there at Picket Plumbing? Uh, this is Terrence with High Road SEO. Uh, I spoke with Carissa. Uh, I was letting her know I was doing some research on your site and your business here, and I just wanted to shoot over three quick tips you guys can start using today to start outranking your competition, okay? Now, don't like to waste anyone's time here, so if by the end of this video you feel that the information that I'm sharing with you can help increase traffic to your site and your business, uh, then I would love to chat. Um, if not, uh, please feel free to start using this information today to start outranking your competition in the area. All right. Um, all I ask is that you give me some feedback at the end of the video, if you wouldn't mind. All right. So I'm going to be talking about three quick things here today. Content, citations, and backlinks. All right. Now, contents, any words on the first pages here, any pictures, what's behind the pictures, even what the pictures are saved as. <clears throat> is included in the content. So we definitely wanna make sure any pictures that we're saving on our site are saved under keywords that our consumers are looking for on Google. It's very important. Also wanna make sure that we have at least 1,500 words of content on the first page. Now I know this may seem a little wordy, but this is going to allow us to be able to work in the appropriate number of keywords and phrases that we need to start ranking in these top positions. OK, now, secondly, is citations and a citation directory where your business address is registered and a consumer can find you is considered a citation. So for an example, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, YouTube, Bing, uh, any of these websites where your address is registered is considered a citation. And citations help you by being able to rank in what's called the map pack on the first page of Google. So obviously the top three businesses in these top three positions will have increased traffic to their site and their business. Okay. Now, how do we get here? We have a tool where we can see exactly how many citations we have as opposed to our competition. And the name of the game is going in and not only matching what our competition is doing in regards to citations, but we want to also get obviously more citations in our competition. We want to make sure that our Google, my business listing is optimized correctly so we can begin to outrank them and start taking this traffic, okay? Thirdly is backlinks. Backlinks are the holy grail of how we get organic traffic coming to our site. And a backlink essentially is another website that is linking back to our website. And what this does is gives us relevance, power, authority in Google's eyes so we can begin to rank in these top pages, okay? Then we also have a tool where we can see exactly how we're stacking up to our competition in this department as well. <clears throat> so if we plug in your information here, we can see that you have 147 referring domains, 1100 backlinks, you're being found for 248 keywords, and this is bringing almost 600 organic visitors to your website every single month. Now, if we look at one of the top competitors in Houston, they have 142 domains, 957 backlinks. They're being found for over 2,000 keywords, bringing them over 3,000 organic visitors to their site every single month. Now, the beauty about this tool, we can come in and see exactly what referring domains our competition are getting their backlinks from. So just like the citations, we can come in and match exactly what our competition is doing but we want to get more relevant, more powerful, more authoritative backlinks coming to our site. So obviously we can begin to outrank them and start taking this traffic. And I have to ask you guys, if you had over 6x the amount of organic visitors coming to your website right now, every single month, what do you think that would do for your business? Okay. So with that, hope this helps you. Hope this opens up the opportunity of what's available to you. And uh, if you feel that me and my team can help you get there, uh, then I would love to chat with you. Um, if not, like I said, please feel free to start using this information today. Um, with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon.